I just read this morning on the net, Nike has dropped Lance Armstrong. And I'm thinking, man, that is so fucking hypocritical of Nike. They're like, the Nike statement was on, Lance has misled us over the last decade. I'm like, are you fucking serious, man? Are you going to tell me that Lance is the only Nike athlete on the, on the program? On the program. You know what I mean? That's just such fucking bullshit. Are you telling me that all those basketball, baseball, swimmers, runners, etc., etc., all the champions, the household names, are not using hot sauce? Are you going to tell me that? Are you going to say Lance is the only one? That's just fucking bullshit. But again, that's the world we live in. The world we live on is cutthroat, man. It's like out there with the sharks, man. If you can't swim fast enough, you get eaten. That's just how it is. So. Again, man, it's crazy. I wouldn't be surprised if Lance fucking commits suicide now. Well, this is crazy shit. But uh, again, it's that's the world we live in, man. That's why people do dope. That's why people get on the hot sauce, man. Because if you don't, you get fucking left behind. You don't get a contract if you can't perform. If you can't slam dunk, see you later. If you can't heal that knee injury with human growth hormone, see you later. If you can't swim that fast, see you later. The pressure to dope, it's, it's no excuse, but... That's just the reality. If you want to be a pro athlete, and you're out on the hot sauce, you got fucking no chance of getting those big dollar contracts. Yeah, you can get, you can participate, you can get a small time contract and stuff like that. You can do that clean. But if you want the big gear, you got to get on the gear. That's just how it is. But the funny thing is, Lance has never really technically tested positive for EPO growth hormone testosterone. There's allegations, but. He's never, you know, officially tested positive. Just as Michael Jordan or LeBron James has never ever tested positive either. Do the fucking do they even fucking test in the NBA? Does the NBA even test for doping? I was like, what about tennis? You know what I mean? Agassi got busted. Crazy stuff, man. That's the reality. That's the reality. Cycling, we just test a lot more, man. We just test a lot more. We're actually trying to clean the sport up. Post your comments down below. What do you think of the whole situation? What I think, I think we live in a drug culture. Coffee, painkillers, stimulants, growth hormone, hormone replacement pills, etc., etc. We live in a drug culture, and it's no wonder people who want to get the million dollar contracts get on the same pharmaceutical products that people use in everyday lives to live. It's crazy. It's hypocritical, and uh, it's crazy. But hey, that's, that's what we live in, man. It doesn't matter if you're Lance Armstrong, your sponsor will drop you like a fucking hot potato if their bottom line dollar marketing image is threatened. They'll fucking drop you like a fucking a fucking rock in the ocean, man. I don't give a fuck, man. It's cutthroat out there. Cutthroat. It's so cutthroat out there. We've got people on YouTube doing steroids and bulking up and saying, all natural, man. But it's like, bullshit. People doing drugs on the internet to manipulate their body so they get more hits. To say, you know, they're, they're, they're doing human growth hormone, testosterone, clean beauty oil, etc. Trenase, Tesproc, Anavar, d -bol, to, you know, put on the mass to perform to get the views. But people watch that and then they go, Lance is a cheat. It's like, what the fuck? Hypocritical, man. Hypocritical. So unfuck the world, go vegan, no roids, just rage. <laughs>